yachts in GTA Online are kind of useless. They are very, very expensive, and you don't get a whole lot out of them. But one of the better parts of having a yacht in GTA Online is that it gives you a safe space, for the most part. You can turn on your yacht defenses, and anyone that comes near you will get blown up. No ifs, ands, or buts. Well, there is one if. And that if is what we're going to be taking a look at in today's video. I'm going to show you guys the one aircraft that the yacht defense system does not work on. So if you guys want to know, well then stay tuned. So as you can see, I am going to go over a yacht here. This is actually one of my friend's yachts and he turned on his yacht defense. He disabled it so even friends would get shot. And as we approach it, boom, I die very quickly. You really can't escape the yacht defense system. But the vehicle that actually gets around all of this is what we're calling in here. The Katsaka Sparrow. I don't think this works with the regular Sea Sparrow. It's only the one from the Katsaka. But check this out. Nothing has changed. My friend didn't change any of the settings. We can go right to the yacht perfectly fine. Now, I guess... I guess this is something that's maybe not the most useful thing. Uh, I don't know how many times you're actually going out to someone's yacht, but if you ever needed a, a situation where you needed to attack someone on their yacht and you didn't want to get blown up by their yacht defense system, well, now you know, simply call in your Sparrow. And it's actually kind of funny because I landed it or I, I ended up getting onto the guy's yacht and when I stole his own helicopter, the yacht defense system started freaking out. And it did eventually kill me in that helicopter. But we're gonna go back here to the Sparrow and everything works perfectly fine. This actually is just something honestly good to know if you are driving or flying your Sparrow out to your Kasaka out in the ocean. If you're in a full session, maybe there's like 20 something yachts out. And you just don't know if their defense system's on. Yes, it gives you a warning, but if you're flying fast enough, you easily go past that warning and then you get blown up and then, then you're just pissed off because your freaking helicopter has exploded. You're in the middle of the ocean and you know, you have to go through the whole process again. But now you know that you can fly your Sparrow out in the ocean without having to worry at all. So anyway, just a very quick little tip or, or trick for you guys. One thing actually I forgot to mention, you can't actually use the guns, so it is relatively balanced. When you get close to the yacht, all of your guns become disabled, at least on the helicopter. It would not let me shoot rockets once I got close, so it's not like you can, you know, abuse people just chilling on their yachts. It is, I think, something rocks are just put in because it is a helicopter. You're flying out to your Kasaka more than likely, and obviously those submarines are going to be close to the yacht so i think it was a needed thing but it is something cool to know and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy anyway thank you guys for watching please drop the like if you did enjoy subscribe for more gta content and as always i'll see you guys in the next one